morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a verse, please, from Haggai chapter 1 and verse 9. It says this, We looked for much, and lo, it came to little. And when he brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why, saith the Lord of hosts, because of mine house that is waste. And he ran every man unto his own house. Haggai chapter 1 verse 9. And the little heading this morning is this, give to God and be rich. Give to God and be rich. Why is it that we hold back from God? Very often we say we can't afford to give, but the truth of the matter is we cannot afford not to give. But when we give to him, he gives it back, pressed down, shaken together and running over. He gives it in ways that we would never dream of. Very often, you see, we give grudgingly to the work of the Lord. We use the excuse that we must look after our own needs and the needs of our family first. But this is false economy. And we forget that to neglect the house of God is a sure way of bringing ruin upon our own houses. Our God is a method where he will cause our endeavours to succeed beyond our wildest expectation just like he did with the widow and the oil and the meal. Can you remember? Because she gave the little she had, so he gave his all-sufficiency to her. To hold back will rob us of God's best. Or we may say we have great plans, but he can bring our plans to naught. Remember Gehazi? He had great plans. He had a plan on uh, uh, what he would do and how he would set himself up for life. He would have gold and silver and raiment, the kind of that he'd never even dreamt of. But his plans came to nothing. And instead of gaining, he became a leper. And his life was a living death. You see, the teaching of Scripture is that the Lord enriches the generous. And he leaves the miserly to discover uh, that withholding leads to poverty. You will notice that the most generous soul will very often be the most joyful soul. And he who gives it all to Christ will not forget. God will not forget him. Remember the little widow just gave two little mites, but the Bible said it was all her living. And God made her an eternal testimony, an example to us all. Selfishness looks to self and home first, but godliness seeks the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and selfishness will bring loss but godliness will bring great gain and if we open our wallet to him then he will pour out of his wealth to us remember he giveth and he giveth and he giveth again let us be careful friends not to do with those in our text they were more concerned about their houses than God's house and all that they had, God blew it away. And they lost because of their own selfishness. They wanted more for self, while God's house lay in waste. God help us to get our priorities right. Give to God, and he will make you rich. God bless you. I look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow morning.